Naritogram. All right, let's do this. 17 years ago, I met two elegant Indian women in a concert in San Francisco by Jai Utal. And they thought, hey, you know, where are you from? And I said, well, I was from Montana. And they said, well, that's a good place to bring sacred dances of the Hindu tradition. <laughs> I was astonished by the beauty and the elegance and the quality of the people they were talking about. So we agreed, Susan and I, threw our resources together, and all the dancers wanted from Naritagram, this is the lead dancer, Shrupa Sen, who was here last week, was if they would pick us up at the uh, train station. Have her? Sure. <laughs> four, four hours later, they wondered where we were at. Home? Close? The Odyssey tradition that they dance is 22 centuries old. It's 2,200 years old. And it comes from a tradition of the court royalty, and it's a sensual dance that was picked up in the 20th century by Protima, who was a social activist for human, but particularly women's rights and women's empowerment. And she had a dream of building a community of dancers in a forsaken place amidst nature, a place where nothing exists except dance a place where you breathe, eat, sleep, and dream, talk, imagine, dance, a place where all five senses can be refined to perfection. Here she is at Naritagram in one of the dance venues, a place where dancers drop negative qualities such as jealousy, small-mindedness, greed, and malice to embrace their colleagues as sisters. The tradition is the Gurukul tradition. The lifestyle that we follow is based on the age-old Gurukul tradition as per this ancient method, students look after the care for their guru by growing fruit and vegetables on the land, cooking, cleaning, and earning through dance recitals. At Naritigram, the institution fulfills the role of the guru. So the dancers who next week, they were here on this stage last Tuesday, will be in the Barishnikov Center in New York for two sold out uh, shows expressing through mythology and the control of their bodies the stories of the ancient wisdom tradition. They also have the ecstatic, the leap for joy, the beauty of being lighter than air. The dance troupe lives, eats, breathes, and practices in the Ritagram, which means dance village, an opportunity for women to gain self-confidence and self-respect, regardless of caste or economic capacity. They also tell the stories of the feminine wisdom tradition about empowering women, about talking about the mystery of the feminine that only the woman knows. And they tell stories of that in a way that you can understand. This is not at Costco. They also have a fierceness, a way of portraying both the masculine and the feminine, a way of using the eyes in an astonishing way that grabs your attention to express the archetypal tension between the masculine and the feminine in the language of their own literature and Hindu tradition. I came at Nrityagram in a completely different way. The dance was the last thing I experienced. Uh, I was in Bangalore, southern India, for work, and uh, that would be in the lower right-hand corner of this map that shows how to get to Nrityagram. It's a rather artistic rendition, so it uh, was not what we relied on to find our way to the village. But when we eventually got there, um, I was standing and chatting with someone in front of this building, uh, behind that statue of the three women holding up the sky, when Lynn came out of the office and said, did I hear Bozeman? And that's where I learned uh, first that there was a Bozeman connection and, and heard of the visit that uh, Tim Tate had arranged uh, some 10 years before. So I'm a great fan of vernacular architecture and Ritjagram is a, a beautiful village. It was designed by Gerard de Cunha, um, many of the buildings, and uh, not only vernacular, but uh, uh, embodying many of the principles of a pattern language. Everything is handmade, beautifully fashioned, adapted um, to, to be a very comfortable uh, environment. This particular pavilion um, was very similar to some of the Indian ancient temples I saw the following weekend, actually, with that massive stone uh, underlayer and fine brick above. And of course, the thatch is common in many um, country dwellings. 
There are spaces all over Nurtergram, inside and outside, for movement activities and, of course, dance. Um, on this beautiful uh, wooden floor in this space, I watch two dancers practicing, and just their interaction and their smiles were as engaging as their graceful movement. This was the closest I came to uh, Odyssey before last week in Bozeman. I was there on a Sunday, and on Sundays they have free classes for local children, and uh, this is showing uh, one of the class with a couple of teachers in front. Uh, teaching is just by demonstration, description, repetition, practice. The children very much um, take their lessons seriously, but at the same time obviously have a lot of fun with it. And uh, such an attitude was really pervasive throughout the village. I felt uh, such a sense of integrity and, and harmony when I was there in the, the dancing, the teaching, the people I met. I really wanted to experience more of what they were devoting themselves to. Uh, I wandered around the village. Uh, I listened to the cows going by in a nearby lane um, from the amphitheater. I sat on one of these uh, stone benches um, just with my eyes closed, my legs crossed and uh, thought about um, what I was experiencing at that moment. Um, then I came back to Bozeman, got together with Tim Tate. We tried to figure out a way to bring them back to Bozeman once again. It was a moment that seeds stories that evolve into events informing community and partnership. Who would have thought that a physicist and a psychotherapist would bring women of the sacred dance to Bozeman? But we did, and then we brought them to Yellowstone Park the next day for a grand adventure and saw many, many wonderful things that we're familiar with. They were not. This is at the gateway to the park, and we're at a threshold here with this story and wish you would join us to bring them back to Bozeman. Thank you.